designers who start in a role at an existing company are inheriting a lot of legacy UX and UI product decisions that happened before them. So it seems that there's quite a balance of being respectful of the decisions that were made beforehand while still trying to innovate and enhance what, what's existing there. Um, what's that been like to explore that and you know better understand why things are the way they are as you go into changing? That honestly was one of the biggest challenges for me um, when I first uh, came into all of this is trying to get yourself in kind of the, the space or the, uh, the mindset that they were in previously. Um, and, and, and that kind of harkens back to the research side of this is I spent a lot of time in my research, um, I guess you could say, was really just trying to understand those decisions and, and understand why things were done a specific way, um, understanding where maybe what was their best quality work and what was maybe something that was rushed and trying to understand those pain points of noticing if something doesn't align, was it something, was it because there weren't processes in place in order to get us to the correct spot or uh, kind of fully work that out? Or was it more so um, this was intentional and then trying to understand why it was intentional? That was huge. And and the other part of that is the reason you kind of want to get your place, get yourself into a place where you do understand that is because if you're going to come in and start to make suggestions or make changes and kind of maybe not throw all of that away, but optimize it and things are going to get, are going to fall off after that. You need to be able to justify that in some way, whether that's justifying Mm -hmm. it to yourself, justifying it to um, the others involved, um, to your bosses. You need to be able to back that up. And when they do come with the why of why are we changing this or why are we getting rid of this? definitely being able to be informed enough to give an answer that's informative and kind of get that buy-in. I I mean, that's huge. 